Good morning. My name is Eric Fisher from Agape Mycology, and today I'm going to show you mushroom extraction using a Soxlet apparatus. All right, so first things first, let's build her. Adjust these. So they're sitting in between this area between the lip right down here. Then we take our solvent of choice, extract a hull. They have 190 proof and 200 proof ethyl alcohol. This is all I use. This is all I've ever used. The first time I ever extracted anything, it was using half gallon uh, ball jars, mason jars, and did it the long form. Kind of the soak method. I did it with uh, some type of grain alcohol, like Everclear type, and it worked really good, but it tasted terrible. Imagine mushroom vodka. So it was not very good. But once I realized what I could make, here we are. All right, so we've got our magnetic stir in there with our extract a hall, 200 proof, ethyl alcohol. Let's see. Let's show you guys here. I hope you can see it. Okay, so we have our flask in our heating mantle. We have our magnetic stir inside of our flask. Our flask is filled with our extract a hall, ethyl alcohol. And we have our main chamber here. In this main chamber is really where all the action happens. This piece right here is your thimble. This is what you put your mushrooms into or spices or whatever it is you're extracting, your plant material, organic matter. And carefully slide it into here. These thimbles are a pain in the butt to try to find. They're not cheap and they are glass. So you wanna be gentle with it. Get it in there. And once we have our main chamber and thimble loaded and in place, I'm gonna bring this back a little bit. We want to close these clamps. These help keep everything in place so it doesn't go tilting on you. And with the larger ones and depending on your setup, you want to have one on this and if you can, one on the condenser. Um, I guess that's personal. So far I've had no issues, fortunately. So now that we've had that assembled, this is our condenser. This is where the hot vapor that comes up through this tube will touch. This condenser here will be filled with circulating cold water. When that vapor hits this cold, it turns it back into a solid, a liquid. 
So it drips down off of here and into here, and I'll show you that later. So we've got that on. Now the next thing to do is fill our condenser up with cold water. So now this here is just a little water pump for an aquarium. You wanna make sure that you get the right size Gotta make it an ice water, really icy. She likes it cold, eh? All right, so we've got that hooked up. And as you can see here, this is gonna fill your condenser up. It's gonna make this, your condenser, cold. This water recycles back down into your cold water storage container, however you rig it up. There's a whole lot of ways. You've got your pump down there running. Bringing your water all the way in. All right, so we have our heating mantle turned on. The temperature you're gonna set it to is going to be different than I run it. I run each one at different temperatures, different times, and it's all based on my jerry-rigged uh, thermometer. I have to adjust for the temperature outside of the glass instead of inside, because for this setup, I do not have a uh, thermometer port insert thing. Terrible explanation. But we've got this set up. The cold water is already chilling our condenser. That is condensation, hence the name condenser. And we're up and rolling. So as you can see here, we're hot now. So this hot gas, evaporated ethyl alcohol, comes up through this content condenser tube. Comes up, hits the condenser with the cold water turns it back to a liquid, drops down into your thimble, soaks your organic matter, and I'll show you the next step when we're ready. So once this starts filling up and the organic material, in this case red reishi, is fully saturated, it will start filling up in this main chamber and once it reaches a point about here, right to the edge of that thimble, it'll siphon down through here, back into here, and the whole process starts over again. So as you can see now, the solvent ethyl alcohol has fully filled the thimble. Got some good looking ratio extract down here with the first pull. I'll pull each thimble usually three, four times. Here she goes. First pull is always the prettiest for me. Pulling all them goodnesses out. Oh yeah. You see how much lighter your solvent gets the further you get into your pulls. This is the third pull, well, about to be the end of the third pull. And I'll let it go one more. All right, so that's the basic rundown of the Soxlet apparatus. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. If you found any value to this like share subscribe we'll be having more content coming out all of your support helps the hungry algorithms 
We appreciate you. Thank you very much and see you in the future.